So why do we deny ourselves that with which we really desire? Why do we deny ourselves and what are you denying yourself? I'm going to get into that. Um, so let's, let's do that. But first subscribe to my channel. I, I am building my subscribers. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, and get on my mailing list below. I am having a program coming out for a call, um, um, Awakening Deeper Intimacy in a Relationship. You're going to love it. Get on my list um, and you'll be the first to know about it. So <clears throat> we deny ourselves. We deny ourselves all sorts of things. We deny ourselves our desires. We deny ourselves. We, we hold back. We keep it suppressed. We keep it locked in. We keep it down, 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 down. All of us do this. Uh, why? Because we get stuck in habitual kinds of ways of thinking because we have learned things from our past that have told us that, no, that's a naughty thing to do. Don't do that. You have to be good. You have to be proper. You have to be, um, you have to show that you are a proper citizen, that you are not too crazy and out of control, especially around the sexual, right? The sexual is about, okay, this is what we do sexually and um, no, control it, control it. Don't go outside the box because it's dangerous. You don't want to lose control. I hear that, I hear that all the time about people worried about losing control. The thing that's happening is that it's, it's <laughs> what we're doing is we are boxing ourselves in, hiding that little box deep, 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 deep down there. We're not telling anybody. We're not going to reveal it. We're not going to let it come out of our body. And we're just going to be stiff and composed and proper. And we're not going to tell our partners because ooh, we don't want to rile them we don't want to scare them we don't want to expose this part of us and 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 you see that kind of energy that gets we get so constricted we get so locked in and imagine doing that for years five years 10 years 15 20 i have had clients in their 60s who are still dealing with that locked in desire that with which they are denying themselves it's, it's just so, so unhealthy, so unhealthy. And, and <laughs> if this is the time, okay, this is the time, baby. This is the time, people. This is the time, my dear viewer. You, 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 I love you. Time for you, you to open that box. Okay, it's the time. It's this, it's this era. It's people, people of younger generations are opening up the boxes, they're busting down the boxes, right? They're, they're moving in different areas and flowing and allowing themselves to express with more freedom, with more, um, with more, uh, with less judgment, with less, uh, with no judgment, actually, with no judgment. That is, I, they don't, you know, not going to judge themselves. They're not going to, they're not going to um, be self-critical and self, uh, uh, self, uh, mutilating. <laughs> I'm not saying that, you know, everyone doesn't have this part of them that still exists because it does. We are judging oneself is it exists. But more and more we're opening up to allowing ourselves to express, allowing allowing ourselves not to deny who we are. Not to deny who we are, not to deny our relationship in whichever direction it needs to go. All right. You know, I think about my new relationship coming in scared from an old relationship that turned kind of nasty at the end. Um, go to my Patreon account and I'll tell you more about that. But turned, you know, um, we went really, really outside the edges, outside the box. And I, I just kind of lost my foot, my footing on the earth. And I had to come down, new relationship. I need to be planted. I need to be, I need to find my grounding again, please. And, and let's get into a nice little safe space so that we can find our space, find our grounding, find our, 
and he was in the same place. So I found that I found a match, a man who who I, who I loved, I was attracted to, I, I adored. We were in the same place. We needed to find the grounding. We got a little place. We got cozy. We got tight. Okay, let's just stay here and let's heal, 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 heal. And we've done that for, for, for literally four years. And over the last year, it's been like, okay, what well, we need to, now it's time to come out. Now we feel healed. Now we feel stronger. Now we are not going to deny ourselves living anymore. We want to let it come through. We want to let it come big. We want to let it out. We want to express it. We want to oh, let the voice out. Let the, let oneself be heard. Let, you know, connect to the desire the desires, the desires, and, and in, in my relationship, which was like insular, closed in, scared because of my past relationship. He was scared because of his past, past stuff that's gone on for him. I'm just going to keep tightening it. But now it's like, no, this has to grow. This has to grow. This has to come out of the box. I'm going to stand my ground here. I'm, going to, I'm not going to deny who I am. I'm not going to deny what I want. I'm not going to deny what I need to say to you. Or to me, especially to me, I mean, to me first. And then it's going to be expressed to you. It's going to be expressed to you. What do I desire? What do I feel? What do I, what do I need right now? What do I, and, and every word that I express, every word that I'm, that I'm expressing to not deny myself me comes out with love. It's coming with love, big, big love, like love, love. No is coming out with love. No, no, I don't want to do that. No, I don't feel like that. do that. Yes, I want to do this. Yes, I commit to myself doing that. Yes, I commit to, to being this. Yes, I feel this. Yes, I want to be that. Yeah, you know, letting it come out with love, okay? It's the time not to deny ourselves anymore, okay? And it may just be little steps that you take. A little, okay, I'm not going to deny myself that ice cream because I'm worried about I'm going to get fat or that um, if I eat it, I'm just not going to be, it's not going to be good for me. I want that. I, 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 I just little, little. I'm not going to deny myself that. I'm not going to deny myself. I'm not going to deny myself expressing what I feel, because not expressing what I feel, not expressing what I would like to, what I'd like to explore, what I'd like to experiment with, what I'd like to move into, not expressing it, holds it in, holds it in tight. And <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> you know, it's choking. It's, it's tense. It's, uh, I can't take it anymore. You know what I mean? I can't take it anymore. It's just like, I let it out. I want to let it free. I want to let it go, you know? And when you can do that, when you can let it out, when you can let it be free, when you can let that thing in you, that desire in you be expressed, let your partner know how you really feel. Oh my God. You just feel, you feel so much you feel so real. So you feel so you feel so much more free. You feel you feel you feel expanded. It's scary. It can be scary, yes, because you've held it held it in for so long. You can feel dizzy. You can feel dizzy. You can feel you can feel um, uh, you feel ringing. I feel ringing in my ears when that happens. Sometimes I feel some other bigger connection somewhere that I don't know what's going on exactly, but. I've let it out and now I can move to the next thing. I can move to my, I can move to, to discussing it. I can move to trying it. I can move to like releasing something else. I can feel, I feel more myself. I feel more, I feel more relaxed. I feel more fluid. I feel more, you know, I feel better. I feel so much better. And I've been doing this, babes. I've been doing this. I've been doing this. And it's been scary at times because, you know, I've been stuck. I get, you know, I... And I talk about me in this specific situation, you know, stuck in habitual ways of doing things with my partner, stuff that I pulled from the old. And I, I was like, I don't want to do that anymore. I'm not going to deny myself the way that I want to be, the way that I want to feel. And sometimes it's scary, especially saying the no's. 
because I'm a very yes person, a very giving, a very nurturing, a very loving person, to say no is difficult. But <laughs> what is happening with me setting my own boundaries, let's say, not denying myself being me, more of me, has created, is creating, is creating, is creating a more magical world for me, is creating a more connected relationship, is creating a happier, happier, more ha happier partner that he understands clearly who I am, what I desire in the moment. And, and if he needs to go, if this is not right for me, he will go. I, I don't want to lose him, but he will go if he needs to because I am feeling stronger in who I am. I am feeling happier in who I am. I am feeling, I am feeling like more powerful, more empowered, more empowered. And I love him. I love, I love, I love everything I'm saying. I'm saying it with deep love to you. Deep love to you, people. <laughs> so, let's go on this journey together. Let's go on this journey together. It is the waxing of the moon. I'm very uh, connected to the planets, the universe, and this is heading towards the full moon as well. If you're astrology, into astrology. I'm not into astrology, but I'm into big archetypical energies, into universal energies. I'm going to talk more about that because I'm entering into it. I'm feeling it. I'm meditating on a daily basis, people, on a daily basis. Since October, daily, 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 it's having a huge effect on me. Huge. Woo! That was a good one. I feel good about that. I feel really good about that. All right. Do not deny yourself you are and I would like you to comment below what are you denying yourself but share what are you denying yourself let it out now comment now what are you denying yourself much love Nikki Mwah!